Okay, big wild world of drones right now, and the problem is, is the FAA's got involved, and all of a sudden we're accountable uh, to whom and what. We're not quite sure yet, but it seems to me that there's going to be an increasing requirement to not only report what's been done, but also to build data from what's being done on a daily basis as we get more and more involved in commercial drone operations. Sounds like you've got an interesting solution to help us along that way. Tell me what you're doing. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm doing kittyhawk.io. It's a drone operations app. So we handle everything from weather, pre-flight, uh, checklists, and then after the flight, currency and proficiency with flight time and logging. So you're able to keep track of everything that's happening with your drone fleet right from a convenient Android, iOS, or web app. For the average hobbyist or AMA member, it's a no-cost app, but if you're doing any commercial operations with Part 107, we offer several features that make it easier for you to run your operations and move faster through them. How is something like this utilized, and what can you do with the end product? What can you do with this data? At scale, we look forward to being able to say things like, wow, we've noticed that many of our members have upgraded to the latest firmware, and we're detecting that some of them are having problems with this firmware because of an increase in maintenance events. In doing this, we'd be able to send out a notification to all of our members saying, hey, maybe wait before you put this new firmware on your bird. Now, the reporting requirements right now uh, in regards to the FAA are not too draconian. We know, of course, that that's not going to stay that way for long. Are you going to be able to keep up with requirements fairly agilely? And more important, how is this data being utilized right now from the operator standpoint? It's a great question. So we work with a lot of industry leaders, and what we find is that the professionals are actually logging to a much higher degree than is required by the FAA. When you find that you're flying a 25, 35, 45 pound aircraft with thousands and thousands of dollars of equipment on it, you tend to hold yourself to a higher standard. So in that way, we're meeting the needs of industry leaders, and it'll trickle down to everybody else in the industry as well. Okay, I am Joe Q, commercial drone operator. Run me through your app, how I use it, and what I can do with the reporting. So Joe, you fire up the app, we check the weather to make sure that we are below the minimum wind requirements for the aircraft. We're gonna to check to make sure that the KP index is within allowable limits. Then we're gonna go ahead and check the airspace. We work very closely with airmap.io, which has a phenomenal airspace application, not just for, say, Class Bravo or Class Charlie, but for things like prisons, nuclear power plants, and schools. You're able to see where you are in all times in relation to those things. And then, from there, run your pre-flight checklist. We have full transparency, so we're going to be able to see you go through every single step of that checklist. And at the end, I'm going to be able to see, back at headquarters, Joe completed the pre-flight checklist. Then, conduct your flight as you normally would, operating safely and within the best guidelines and practices. And then, after the flight, you'd go ahead and say, all right, I flew for 14 minutes. This aircraft, this battery, we do all your battery cycles and tracking. And from there, we'll be able to append weather and airspace to that flight and associate it with it run any post-flight checklist, and you're good to go. We'll be able to see all of that back at headquarters and make sure that, Joe, you are proficient and current on that aircraft anytime you fly it. Sounds like a really useful app. Where do you go from here with all this? Well, we're working on a really couple of exciting things right now. We are going to be able to import all of the DJI logs. So anybody running a DJI aircraft, we're going to be able to import full data from your flight, including telemetry. We're going to be announcing it via our newsletter to our premium customers, and then the next week to everybody else. Aero TV is brought to you by... The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero.